said, Louie who? Just Louie, came the answer. Then I am just James. And that is how they met. Do you guys have any idea who Louie is? No. A Okay. James was cold and hungry, so Louie added wood to the fire. He cooked bread in a pan. Louie told James that it was called galette. All Métis you know how to make galette, said Louie, as they ate the warm bread. Tomorrow I will show you how. But I want to find the wagon tomorrow, said James. That depends upon the storm, answered Louie. For now, you will go to sleep. Louis put James into the narrow bed, then sat in the chair facing the fire. I need a story, said James. I cannot go to sleep without a story. Just like my children, sighed Louis. James closed his eyes as the story began. Later, he would remember something about a young boy who had gone far away to school in a distant city. The boy lost his family and everything familiar to him. Only through a great adventure, he had found them again. In the morning, the snow still fell and the wind still blew. James knew that they would not leave the house today. Louis made the wet, only this time, as promised, he showed James how to do it. You mix the flour and the baking soda like so. Then the lard goes in and some water. Knead it well now. My mama makes this, said James, but it is not called galette. You know, it is called bannock. Have you guys ever made bannock? Yeah. Is that so, answered Louie. Does it taste the same? Does it fill your belly and warm your insides? It tastes the same, said James stubbornly, as he mixed and worked the dough. But it is still bannock. Louis laughed and shook his head. Two days passed, filled with bitter and cold wind. At night, James could not sleep. He lay awake watching Louis write at the small table. Other times, Louis stopped and sat with his head in his hands. Whether he slept or prayed, James could not guess. 